physiotherapy is a huge, um, I would even say, revolution in the treatment of cancer. Um, and it has been explored for already quite a few years where the idea of increasing the immune system of the patient in order to attack the tumors uh, was, you know, floated. The first treatments had a lot of um, uh, toxic side effects, and so there was a dip in the specialty. Uh, but more recently, uh, there have been huge advances, including the immune checkpoint inhibitors and also the targeted um, lymphocytes, the tar targeted uh, the CAR T cell therapies. So, to start with the immune checkpoint inhibitors, uh, these have really, really improved the prognosis of some of the most aggressive malignancies, in particular uh, metastatic melanoma, um, metastatic uh, renal cell carcinoma, uh, non-small cell lung carcinoma. And so there are several uh, classes of those immune checkpoint inhibitors. And the most well-known of them are anti-CTLA-4, um, uh, which imi, uh, imi, ma, luma, uh, is the most well-known of them against uh, melanoma. Um, and then the PD-1 inhibitors, of which nivolumab is the most well-known, and most recently some anti-PD-L1 um, uh, checkpoint uh, inhibitors have also been developed. So those checkpoint inhibitors basically enhance the, um, uh, the um, function of T lymphocytes. One of the issues, so there are side effects which are well known and more than 90% of patients experience those side effects. The cardiac side effects have been uh, identified very recently, first as anecdotal cases, and they are mainly myocarditis. Although there are other uh, side effects, cardiotoxic side effects of those immune checkpoint inhibitors that have been identified and that are conduction abnormalities and uh, decreases in left ventricular function that may not be myocarditis and also pericarditis. So the most well known now, because there have been some series um, reported uh, in the literature, is the myocarditis, which may occur maybe, although we're not sure, in 1%, maybe even 2% of cases and can be fatal in 50% of patients. So this is a real issue. And there is still, so there are two quote, larger series that have been reported. We don't really know the prevalence of those myocarditis because it's only retrospectively that we have noticed them. And so maybe not every one of them is picked up. Um, things to know about them are several folds. First of all, um, the troponin seems to be elevated in most of them. It depends on the series, but might be a good biomarker. The left ventricular ejection fraction is not always decreased. Although an echo is recommended, it might not detect the myocarditis. The BNP might be elevated, which is another way to detect some abnormality of the uh, cardiac function, obviously. Um, and MRI uh, may also be uh, useful in determining whether this is myocarditis, although may not be fully sensitive. The treatment for these uh, myocarditis consists on very high doses of corticoids. If that doesn't work, then the second uh, tier of immunosuppressors may be used, and even a third tier. So that is a very important issue in the immune checkpoint inhibitors. And, um, um, I think that we will see more and more and more work is needed obviously to, to know exactly what the prevalence of those complications 
is and you know to uh, guide the clinician on how to detect monitor and treat those patients